Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Aerolite 213 RBSL. It's going to be an amazing couples coach, a ton of great amenities both inside and out, great floor plan. Let's go ahead and start uh, on the front end here, we'll make our way back and then we'll head inside. So right up front, power tongue jack. You know, this is gonna make it a lot easier to hook up or disconnect, just touch of a button rather than having to crank it up and down. So that's gonna be a, a huge feature for you. Also gonna have a light on there to help you at night. Right behind that, 30 pound propane tank cover. And as we take a look inside, that's right, it has two 30 pound propane tanks. So 60 pounds of propane is gonna uh, help you in those extended stays where you're gonna need a lot of heat. That's gonna be, again, a great feature right there. You have plenty of space behind for your battery box and you're gonna have a battery disconnect back there. So that way all you have to do is flip a switch that'll kill all power so you don't have to mess with the battery taking all your um, posts off the terminals there. Right here is going to be our front cap, beautiful front cap. You can see you have the LEDs inlaid in there. It gives it a really sharp look, especially at night. But you know the front cap is gonna be designed very well. Uh, it's gonna help with some aerodynamics and it's also going to help any kind of water intrusion. As we make our way around the side, we'll take a look at our pass-through storage. You do have slam latch baggage doors on there. And if we take a look in here, you can see you get nice big open space. You can tell it's going to be aluminum framing. You can see that up in the ceiling. So aluminum framing is going to be great. It's going to be sturdier for you. And you don't have to worry about it rotting out if you ever get any kind of water condensation in there. So that's going to be, again, a, a big feature. You're going to have power jacks, both front and back. So again, you know, the ease of setting up and tearing down, you're going to have a power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, just making it as easy as they can. Big, huge power awning, touch of a button rolls out, touch of a button rolls back in. Then underneath that, it's a little tough to see, but you do have your LED lights. So when the awning's out, you're going to get nice, bright LED lights out here. That way you don't have to hang up your Christmas lights anymore. Uh, getting into the coach is a breeze. You're going to have three steps here. You're also going to have a uh, grab handle, just again, to help assist from the first step all the way in. You'll have two outside speakers. That's going to be controlled by your multimedia center inside. Uh, that is going to be Bluetooth capable. So if you do have like an iPod or cellular device, you can go ahead and connect to that wirelessly and be able to listen to your music while out here. A fresh water hookup right here. You'll have your, uh, your power outlet there in case you want to plug anything in. Your tires are going to be easy lube axles, so that's going to be less maintenance. Again, making things easy. And you're going to have nitrogen filled tires there as well. One of the other things I like about this, this is a rear bath floor plan. And take a look at our huge outside kitchen. I love what they've done. It's very stylish. You're going to have you know, your, your nice large fridge. It's not going to be the tiny one on you, which is awesome. Uh, so I like that feature. This is going to pull out. So you have a pull out drawer there. And then check this out. This is going to drop down, and this is where your cooktop's going to be. So you get a two burner cooktop on here, just like so. But I like this because this just tucks right back away no one even knows it's there so really cool feature stainless uh, stainless steel bowl out here you know that's gonna be an upgraded feature usually you don't see this you actually have a nice looking faucet here stainless steel bowl and that's gonna be plumbed into your gray tank LED light here makes it nice and bright and you have additional storage up top also if you want a TV out here right there you have the hookup so you can go ahead and plug that in they make it super easy for you so again I love that outside kitchen it's a great feature on a rear bath model. Also, take a look right there, you're going to get a window in your rear bathroom. All too often you don't have a window, but the nice thing about that is going to let in some natural light, makes it nice and bright during the day. You can have a spare tire mounted on your bumper, hopefully you never have to use it. In the event that you do, Aerolite's going to have you covered. Uh, one other thing, if you take a look at the ceiling, you can see it's going to have a crown rooftop. And uh, When we go inside, you'll see that's going to be on the inside as well. So that way your water runoff is going to naturally run to the sides. You'll have your rain gutters there taking it to the front and back, and then you don't have to worry about it coming down on your campsite. As we come around over to the other side here, you'll see we're going to have a detachable power cord. This is going to be a solar charge, so it is going to be pre-prepped for solar. If you do want it, all you have to do is buy the panels, plug it in, you're good to go. Uh, you'll also have some cable hookups. This will be your city water connection. You have a spray port for an outside shower if you want it, and you're also going to have a black tank flush here as well. That way you just can hook a hose up, black tank left sprayers built in, that'll go ahead and wash out your black tank. And you have a light out here too, which is going to be really convenient in case, again, you're hooking up or 
disconnecting at night. All right, it's gonna wrap it up on the outside. Let's go take a look at the gorgeous inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Aerolite 213 RBSL. I really love this as a couple's coach. It's gonna have a lot of space for being a smaller coach. You're gonna have a nice big slide here. You have top of the line amenities like solid surface lit countertops, and it's only gonna be a little over 5,100 pounds. So let's go ahead and start off over here in our kitchen. I did mention the countertops. I love that they do this. It gives it a really nice, pleasing aesthetic look. And the solid surface is gonna to be top, uh, top of the line. Nice large sink here right in the center. You can see there you're gonna have an undermount uh, stainless steel double bowl. You're able to undermount it because you have that solid surface countertop. Uh, but that's gonna be great for washing dishes, nice and big. You have your high rise faucet here that will pull out. This is also going to be cutting board quality, so you can flip this over to use it as a cutting board. Or if you want, you kind of have some nice cutouts here for handles, you can also use it as a serving tray. So it's going to uh, have a couple different uses there, but very, very cool. Great uh, uh, prep surface on here, especially because it's going to be aided by our sink top cover. You're also going to have some excellent storage. You can see here, uh, you have a couple full extension pull out drawers there. Right over here, you have some access. You can take a look right there. Great access underneath there. And then right over here, you're going to have like a little spice rack and some additional storage right there. Three burner Atwood cooktop. It is going to be stainless steel, as are all the appliances here. Again, it's going for that high end look. Uh, you know, Atwood cooktops have great flame control on them, so you'll be good there. And you'll have your conventional oven in case you want to do any kind of baking. Right up top here is going to be our hood, again stainless steel, that's going to have a light and a fan, as well as our stainless steel microwave up top. And then right up here is going to be nice storage and pantry area. Uh, as we make our way over, this is going to be our entertainment area right here. So this is where your TV is going to mount for you. Uh, of course, you know, you can have a swing arm, so that way if you want, you can turn it toward the bed or toward the uh, U-shaped dinette. These are going to be connected to your multimedia center, uh, which is going to be right here. So I mentioned this when we were outside. This gives you a bunch of different options. This is going to be a radio uh, as well as a DVD player. So go ahead and pop a DVD in there and, you know, hook these into the TV and that will allow you to play that movie. Uh, also, you'll have several speaker zones both inside and outside. You'll also have some additional storage right here. Now rounding out the kitchen, right here is going to be our uh, Norcold fridge freezer. You can see it has a stainless steel panels in there, so it looks really nice. Uh, this is our uh, tire cover for the back tire, and this is going to be for that spray port I showed you when we were outside. But you can see here you have plenty of storage there, which is great. Uh, this does have automatic switch over as well, and run off both electric and propane. If you run it off propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it's going to switch over to electric for you. Thermostat's going to be right back here. Uh, this is going to go into our bathroom. I'll go ahead and take you on in. So you have a nice big bathroom in this floor plan, which is wonderful. Uh, right over here on this wall, you have a couple of robe hooks there, which is great. Uh, down below, this is going to be a porcelain toilet. You have a uh, foot, flush, foot flush lever on there as well. And then take a look at this storage. You get huge storage. This goes all the way back here. So that really goes back a ways. Uh, it's going to be a great place for you know any kind of extra bedding, anything else you want to store. Of course, you can have your towels there right up front. You can have a mirrored wardrobe with storage behind that nice shelf here great countertop space you can see here you get this it kind of comes out around here so you have excellent countertop space nice big bowl in here too a lot of times in the bathrooms you just have this teeny tiny bowl you know you're washing your teeth you hit your head on the medicine cabinet you miss the bowl not in here it's going to be nice uh, nice and convenient because you have that big bowl you'll also have some additional storage here underneath uh, i can open this up for you that's actually going to be pretty big storage area there now right behind me, this is going to be a shower. Again, another thing I love about this floor plan, take a look at the size of the shower. You know, most uh, floor plans, when you have a rear bathroom, a lot of times they give you a neo angle, which is, you know, it's going to still be a pretty small shower. Not the case here. You have a huge skylight up top, letting in a lot of light, giving you some headroom, uh, nice shelf space, and again, just plenty of room for uh, you to be able to take a shower. It's going to be nice and convenient. All right, let's head on out, and I will show you the front half of the coach. Right over 
here is going to be our slide. Again, you know, you get this nice big slide. It's going to be a lightweight unit at just over 5,100 pounds, but you get this beautiful U dinette. So I like this in, in this coach. It's going to be very versatile. It gives you plenty of room if it's just going to be the two of you to go ahead and sit and eat, you know, enjoy a cup of coffee, or you can always drop this down. Uh, you know, it has nice backrests, so you can kind of uh, sit up and, ex you know, extend your legs out, use it as like a giant chase while you watch TV. Uh, or if you do have additional guests, of course, this will form into a bed and they can go ahead and sleep there as well. So it's going to have a lot of utility. Also, you get a nice bright light here. A lot of times the lights are going to be very dim, not in the 213. You get a nice bright light. Uh, you know, uh, great lighting is going to be a big deal. Right up here, you're going to have some additional storage. Go ahead and open that up for you. You can see right in there. And then you have the frosted glass on here as well. It gives it a, a nice aesthetic look. When we take a look at the front half of the coach here, one of the things, again, I love about this, take a look at the size of the bed. That's going to be a king bed. You get a huge bed in here, which is great. Because a lot of times in these travel trailers, you're just going to get this dinky little bed. It doesn't work. You have plenty of room here in the 213. Also, this does lift up. You do get additional storage underneath, and you're going to have storage on both sides. You'll have mirrored wardrobe there with some hanging space. And then if we take a look up top, you do have additional storage up there as well. Underneath, you're going to have some speakers in case you want to listen to music in bed there. Uh, and you're going to have a couple of uh, LED lights, some great reading lights if you want to sit up and read. And, uh, you know, on both sides, you're going to have some shelf space underneath your wardrobe. And you're going to have electrical outlets. So if you want to charge your cell phone at night, maybe you want to, uh, or maybe you have a CPAP machine you need to run, you can go ahead and plug it in. You can sleep on either side of the bed. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Again, this is a 2016 Aerolite 213 RBSL. It's going to be just a great couple's coach. You have the uh, outside kitchen. You're going to have the electric stabilizer jacks. I mean, it's power everything. You have power stabilizer jacks. You have a power tongue jack. You have a power awning. You have LED lights. Fantastic on the outside. Great amenities on the inside. That rear bathroom is huge. You have great prep space, solid surface countertops, king bed, slide out U dinette. It's just a winning floor plan. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer them that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.